If you want to draw a self-portrait from life, it's important to understand the properties of light and shadow. Hello, my name is Gustavo Ramos and I'm a visual artist. In this video, I will draw a sphere and show you how to use graphite and pastel to achieve beautiful results. Let's do it! I'm gonna just be using a paper towel and I'm gonna collect some of the pastel that I left here on this scrap piece of paper. And I'm just gonna go right over the sphere with it. Next, I'm gonna grab my erasers and bring it back some of the clarity that I might have lost. Next thing I'm gonna do is try to imagine where the light source might be for this sphere. And in this case, I would like it to be coming from above it and towards the right. First one I'm gonna address is what I call the form light. It's the surface of the sphere that is most facing the light. I'm gonna grab my 2B pencil and draw in where I believe the core shadow should be in relation to that imaginary light source that I'm creating. The other thing I'm gonna address now is the cast shadow. This is the shadow that the object is casting on whatever it's sitting on top of or in front of. In this case, it's right here. The lightest light is gonna be the highlight. So I'm gonna pull out my eraser and I'm gonna put the highlight somewhere here. My darkest dark is actually gonna be something that's called occlusion shadow. But in some areas, for instance here, right where the sphere would be sitting on top of a table, that's where there's just almost no light. And so I wanna just put that there just so that I can really see what the full range of values is for the sphere. I'm gonna grab my 2H pencil and start filling in the area here for the shadow that's receiving reflected light. Now I'm gonna start addressing the midtone. Sometimes it's tricky that you get it just right. And what you're seeing me do is make my pencil strokes go along the form. And sometimes I change the direction and I do some cross hatching. Now I'm gonna grab my brush and do a little bit of blending with it. And now I'm gonna look for more refinement within the lights using my needle eraser because I don't wanna create any sharp edges with the erasing marks that I'm putting down. And with more time, I would be able to make this even more believable and realistic. That's the sphere exercise for you. Do you want to know how to master light and form in a self-portrait drawing? Check out my Domestica course about creating a self-portrait in graphite and pastel.